going on everyone it's rich like oh my god okay i'm dressed as a wizard today because i'm going to do some predictions now okay shut up don't come for me i got my little crystal ball right here don't come for me now okay i don't want to offend uh the psychic youtube community i don't want to offend everybody aphrodite is the queen i love him so much i'm not coming for anybody i'm just having fun okay don't come for me okay i want to talk about the rumors that are circulating about james charles dating Larray and also jeffree star has some rumors circulating that he's also dating somebody so i'm like okay what's very interesting t so before with the, with the jeffree star drama so jeffree star posted on its instagram story uh, a picture of somebody and people were like well who is that and so i circled it because if you didn't pay close attention you could have like just passed it up and you didn't know so it's like who is that hmm and jeffrey star said that he was talking to someone but not really taking it serious just like hanging out whatever so is this the mystery person that jeffrey star was talking about no like everything's just so crazy i'm like what is going on out there oh my god okay should we dispel a few more rumors chris okay i am currently single I am not dating anyone. I'm hanging out with someone, but we are not serious at all. And I'm just enjoying my quarantine time. Everything is great with the dogs. All six are amazing. The puppies are, oh, they're getting so big. Oh my God. With that being said, all right. So let's get into James, I look. Okay, shut up. Don't come for me. Whatever, so let me do what I want. Okay, so the thing is, I got all these messages that James Charles was dating Ray. So I, when I posted it, I got so many messages. How dare you say James Charles did not win? That's not true. And I was like, okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. That was just the rumors, okay? I spoke to James Charles and he has denied that the rumors were true, that he's not dating Ray. So I was like, okay. Everyone knows that James Charles is a 10 inch top, okay? Everybody knows that, everyone in the world, okay? So that is not true the house, okay? It's my opinion, my conspiracy, allegedly. And with that being said, LaRae does have a boyfriend. They've been together for a while now. But because James Charles and, you know, LaRae have been seen together in very, uh, you know, close pictures, I guess why like, people, they can understand or like assume that they kind of feel like they were like a secret couple being together. Now, for those who don't know, LaRae, I believe he's a TikToker who kind of like made his way onto YouTube and he, he hangs out with Nikita Dragon and she loves him a lot. And also he's been seen hanging out with some other TikTokers and also James Charles and Charlie D'Amelio and things like that. That. so they're just all like they're all friends they're all just friends and we're just i'm sitting here just talking about it girl but anyways let me know what you think about that do you think that james charles and Larray would make a cute couple i kind of think they would like in my opinion i kind of think they would you know i grant it they probably not each other's type if they were to give it a shot i would be here for at the house i'm just i'm just saying i would back to jeffree star and his relationship drama now okay so he apparently has someone he's talking to and we don't know who it is, but it's all speculation and rumors. Knowing Jeffree Star, this could literally be a wrench thrown into the game to get us talking about this mystery person that we know nothing about and we probably will never ever hear about this person ever again. But it's working because a lot of people are interested. Like when I posted the story, it's just Jeffree Star's new man. What's going on over here? Again, my inboxes blew up with speculation on who it is. People were like, is it this guy? Is it this guy over here? And who, who is this mystery man? So whoever y'all think it is, it's most likely not. Apparently, according to my investigation with my, my research team over here, we found out that no, that's not that person. I believe that person is in a relationship, so it could not be Jeffree Star. But just people are just talking. People are gossiping. People are wondering who this person is. We haven't heard anything from Jeffree Star's ex-boyfriend, which was Nate, and he just kind of kept quiet. You know, he posted a clothing line on his Instagram and then it kind of like sold out, I guess. We've never really heard anything much out after that. A lot of people were thinking that he was gonna come out and do a story about Jeffree Star and how he treated me the real truth of Jeffree Star. I lived with him for years. And I don't know anything about that, but I don't think he's gonna say anything at all. A lot of people were saying like, was there a lawsuit involved? Stuff like that. I kind of, I always felt like that there was. Like I always kind of felt like there was a lawsuit involved, but there's no like public records. You can always get stuff stuff sealed, but I don't know. But some people were like, well, what would it be over? So the only thing that it, I feel like it could be over was again, my conspiracy, in my opinion, allegedly, it's like a total, it's like reach, reach Lux. I think it would be over this right here. And I have it. So it was a couple years, like, is that the right one? There's like so many of them. Oh my God. No, it's this one. Okay, yeah. I have all these potions and lotions everywhere. Okay, this one right here in my laboratory. Okay, I think the drama, if there ever was, like, I have no proof, but if there ever was to be a lawsuit, I think it would be over this lipstick right here, which is called Nathan. And 
Only because like they, Jeffree Star did this campaign a couple years, like what years ago? He did this campaign photo, it was called like, like Star Family Jewels and it featured all the dogs and Nathan was there by his side. And it was like a beautiful campaign photo and the mega collection sold out. It was like a beautiful home, like a house. It had lipsticks in there and it was like a lipstick for each of the dogs and lipstick for Nathan, which is this. So I kind of felt like Nathan, if he wanted to be petty, he could always sue and be like, you use my likeness. And even though we're not together anymore, I want to sue because you use my face and my name to sell a lipstick. And I kind of felt like, okay, here's the how I see it. And y'all can please let me know in the comments down below because again, there's no proof to this, but let's just talk about it like if there was. If you dated a guy for years and gave him the most lavish lifestyle he could ever dream of and living inside castles, flying first class, beautiful rooms, just like... Surrounded by luxury, hands down. And then y'all break up. And then the guy's like, well, you know, you sold a couple lipsticks with my name. I think I want to check. I would, I would literally be like, girl, what? Like, I literally, if you add up, if you were going to be that petty, if you were to add up everything, you kind of like lived a millionaire life with this being my hot boyfriend. Right, that makes sense? So the fact that if he did want to like sue for money, I would say this would probably be like the only thing he might have, I don't know. But let's take a look at it. So this is called Nathan. This lipstick is literally impossible to find. It is super rare. It's like, if you're like a huge Jeffree Star fan, you would have to hunt for this lipstick. I've never swatched it. Um, I bought this on eBay months ago for like, I think it was like 30 or $40 is how much this went for. And yeah, it's kind of maintained, whoa. Yeah, it's kind of maintained itself. So it has the classic Jeffree Star pink and it, it almost looks like mannequin. And I believe Nathan chose this himself or like made it, hold on. It doesn't have a scent to it. I'm just gonna like give it a swatch right here. First time, oh my God, ever swatching it. So uh, yeah, here it is. That is Nathan. And like I said, I feel like this is gonna go down and like Jeffree Star Cosmetics History, it's cause we never, like we've never seen it. It just, it came and it went. Other stuff that came and went was the Soul Sucker. Like I'm telling you, I'm when it comes to makeup, I collect stuff all the time. Like, oh my God. The Soul Sucker lipstick by Jeffree Star, which was like black with gold flakes in it. This was a limited edition. I believe it was Halloween. Yeah, so when you swatch it like that, you're gonna get like black with gold reflex in it. You see, oh. I mean, it was like, that's super cool. It's very much like that, okay, very that, down. And first class, oh my God, this one, this one was like, it came in like a regular pink packaging, then it got updated to be this packaging. And it's like this really gold color, but this one was called first class. And I'm just gonna give it a swatch right here. Like literally it's been in this package for a very, very long time. So I don't even know if it's expired or the quality of it, because it's literally just been in that package for a while and I can, there you go, all right. So there you go, so that is first class and it's a beautiful gold. And this one I actually really, really do like a lot. Then there's one, I think there's one or two more, which is gonna be like the Christmas one. So this one came out during like a Christmas collection and it literally has no name. Yeah, it's just a little Santa boot with the question mark. That was the name and it was like this beautiful, beautiful red, like one of the best reds I've seen in a very, very, very long time. And so like, I'm literally swatching like iconic makeup that was very limited edition makeup here. And like, it's a thing. I love collecting limited edition makeup and like playing with it. And so, yeah, there's more, but I think, I think that's all of them that I want to share with you today. But back to like the, see, I just get, I get, I love makeup so much, I just start going. But yeah, so Nathan was the one I think that he could always like sue for. And like, I don't know, like, I don't ever think Nathan would ever speak about it. We don't really hear about it anymore. Like I honestly feel like Nathan is like, done like we don't like buy you know so back to the original question does nathan deserve any money for if he was to sue for and for this right here and i would say i would say hell no you ain't getting nothing i gave you a lifestyle that you can only dream about we're not together anymore it's over bye but then he could argue well like we use my face you use my name i never got a check you never paid me for that so he could be petty and like complain and sue for that too but I don't know, I kind of felt like there's just a lot of rumors going on with like relationships and who's dating who. So I kind of thought I would just like 
put it into this video and like whatever and swap some limited edition makeup. Let me know what you guys think about all that drama in the comments down below. And do you guys know whose ear that is? Anyways, I'll let you guys go. Smash that like button, comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.